Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we are going to find the partial fraction decomposition of this given rational expression. And this is our episode 7. So let's go ahead and look at the denominator over here. You can see we have three linear factors. That means we are going to have three fractions. All right each fraction separated by plus sign. All right, the first one is going to be simply uh, x plus 4. The second one is going to be x minus 5. And the third one is going to be x minus 7. And now let's focus on the top part, on the numerator for this First fraction, I'm going to put constant A for the second one, constant B, and the third one is going to be C. And our task is to find the values of A, B, and C. And in our next step, we are going to look at this denominator on the left hand side, this whole quantity. We are going to multiply this, whatever this thing is, across the board with each and every fraction, with each and every uh, term. So I'm going to put down x plus 4 times x minus 5 times x minus 7. On this term, likewise, I am going to put down x minus 4 times x minus 5 this is by the way x plus 4 rather and then x minus 5 and this is x minus 7 for this this fraction and for this one I am going to put down for this for b part I am going to put down x minus plus 4 rather x minus 5 and x minus 7 and finally for this third fraction I'm going to put down x minus x plus 4 rather x minus 5 and x minus 7 and now let's look at over here on this one over here as you can see that this x plus 4 cancel with this x plus 4 x minus 5 is gone with x minus 5 x minus 7 is gone with this x minus 7 so we just simply ended up with 3x square plus 8 on the left hand side equals to let's look at on the right hand side this x plus 4 is gone with this x plus 4 so we got a times these x minus 5 times x minus 7 all right and the next one is going to be this x minus 5 is gone with this x minus 5 so we ended up with b times simply x plus 4 times x minus 7 and finally this x minus 7 is gone with this x minus 7 so we got simply plus c times x plus 4 times x minus 5 so far so good and I am going to call this equation as equation number one. Now let's look at this quick trick. It states look for the linear factors in the denominator. Let's look at on the linear factor in the denominator on the left hand side. We got one of this one. This is the second one. And this is the third one. So we have a three linear factors. I am going to write them down over here. I'm going to write down x plus 4 right up here. Then I'm going to write down x minus 5. 
and then I am going to write down x minus 7 and the next step is I am going to set each and every one equal to 0 let's set each and every one equal to 0 that means we're going to have x equal to negative 4 as 1x value we got x equal to positive 5 is another one and finally x equal to positive 7 and now let's look at this value x equal to negative 4 first I have just wrote down put x equal to negative 4 in this equation number 1 that means wherever we see x we are going to replace it by negative 4 let's go ahead and do that thing that is going to become simply 3 times negative 4 square plus 8 on the left hand side equal to a times this is going to be x is negative 4 and then negative 5 and then times negative 4 minus 7 so far so good so right now so this is what it is and now let's focus on this part over here if I put x equal to negative 4 and then we have a plus 4 that is going to become 0 that means 0 times b times this factor this whole thing is going to become 0 all right likewise over here in the next one over here same thing over here when we replace x by negative 4 plus 4 that is going to give us 0 so 0 times c times this factor whole thing is going to become 0 so I am simply going to write down 0 plus 0 now let's go ahead and simplify this thing so this 3 times a negative 4 square is going to be simply 16 plus 8 equal to a times that's going to give us negative 9 times negative 11 so that is going to give us 48 plus 8 equal to 99a isn't it so that means 56 equals to 99a that tells us that a turns out to be simply 56 over 99 this is our a value and now let's focus on x equal to 5 value and here I have wrote down put x equal to 5 in this given equation 1 let's go ahead and and replace x by 5 so that is going to simply become 3 times this equation 1 is going to become 3 times 5 square plus 8 equals to let's look at this one the very first over here 5 if I replace x by 5 so this is going to become 5 minus 5 that's going to give us 0 0 means that this whole 0 multiplies to the whole this part so that is going to give us 0 all right so now so so I'm going to put down simply 0 plus b times simply 5 plus 4 times 5 minus 7 and then plus here once again here we see that this is x minus 5 we replace x by 5 5 minus 5 is going to give us 0 so when we multiply 0 this whole term that is going to become the whole term is going to become 0 so I am going to write down plus 0 here as well let's simplify this thing that is going to give us 3 times 25 plus 
8 equals to that is going to become b times this is 5 plus 4 is going to become 9 times negative 2 and here I'm going to go this way now I am going to put down on this side that is going to be 3 times 25 is going to be 75 plus 8 is going to become simply 83 83 equals to simply on the right hand side is going to become negative 18 b that gives us simply b equals to negative 83 over 18 and this is our b value and now we are going to look at this x equal to 7 value and here i have wrote down put x equal to 7 in this equation number one so wherever we see x we are going to replace it by 7 so we are going to have on the left hand side I'm going to put down 3 times 7 square plus 8 equal to let's look at this part over here we know that this 7 x minus 7 we know x is 7 minus 7 is going to give us 0 0 times this whole term is going to become 0 so we know that this part is going to become 0 likewise over here this is x minus 7 once again 7 minus 7 is going to give us 0 so 0 means that this whole term is going to become 0 all right so let's put down 0 plus 0 and then plus finally we have a c times let's replace x by 7 so 7 plus 4 times 7 minus 5 all right and now let's go ahead and simplify now and here we got 3 times 7 squared is 49 plus 8 equal to over here c times this is going to become 11 times simply 2 and here when we multiply 3 times 49 is going to give us 147 plus 8 is going to become 155 equals to 22c that means c is going to be 155 divided by 22 and this is our c value and thus we got a equal to 56 over 99 the b value negative 83 over 18 and c value turns out to be a 155 over 22. so thus our partial fraction simply becomes wherever we see a i am going to replace it by 56 over 99 wherever we see b we are going to replace it by negative 83 over 18 and by the way this c is going to be replaced by 155 over 22 and here are our fractions on the top 56 over 99 negative 83 over 18 and 155 over 22 and here is our final answer thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos bye